Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have a very interesting video because we're not really gonna be teaching you anything new. We're actually just gonna be photo walking, taking pictures around golden hour, and uh, you'll see how I go about my techniques of capturing things during the sunset hour, magic hour, golden hour, whatever you wanna call it. So let's have some fun. One important thing that you should do is just think a little bit about where you're gonna be photographing during golden hour because as the sun dips down, it's going to dip down a lot faster than any of us are gonna think even though, you know, it's always gonna be an hour. But right now I have this beautiful, colorful motel that looks super nice during this time. And I'm going to take my time photographing the colors that are unique during this hour. So let's go. Oh yeah, you guys can go ahead. You guys can go ahead. Don't, don't mind us at all. Don't mind us at all. Really nice right now. I'm trying to like give purpose to like a lot of frame. Like there's a lot of things going on right now, but maybe I can use like one of the three lenses that are on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. There's like a super wide, there's a regular wide, and then there's like the super zoomed in telephoto. Wonder what I could do to give it purpose here. Let's see. Okay, this will be nice. Oh yeah, the colors are really popping. Oh, that looks beautiful right there. Oh, super wide looks awesome too. Wow. Oh, a telephoto looks the best. And for all these photos, I'm gonna be editing them later when I get back to my house and uh, we're going to review them uh, each photo at a time. So don't worry about it. Hello everyone, I'm just gonna hop on here for a quick second because my mic got killed by the wind. A tip that I can show you guys is to use interesting light corridors or shadows to your advantage during golden hour. As you can see right here, there's a nice corridor of light made from these two sand dunes. And there are always going to be interesting shadow formations during this time because the sun is so low and is going to be creating nice patterns of shadows or people are going to be lit in a certain way. So use that to make your photos a little bit more interesting. Another tip that you can utilize is to include a lot more things in the foreground if you want to include the sunset into your photo. A lot of the times, people just photograph the sunset right above the water or right above the mountains, but try to incorporate maybe a building, more rocks or hills, or something interesting in the foreground to give more context as to what you're photographing during golden hour so that it's not such a plain photo that we've seen a million times over. Right here, you're going to see me use the foreground to my advantage by using that rock formation to frame up that sunset to have a nice, interesting composition instead of having the sun just floating above the water. All right, so we're back in the studio now and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna go about editing some of these photos. But before we do any of that, I took a lot during that photo walk, even though the you know the video segment was really short. I'm gonna use Gemini photos to cull through some of these photos that I don't really need. I took some repeats and I don't really want them just hanging out in my photo library, taking up too much storage. So let's show you how Gemini photos works. All right, so now I have Gemini photos pulled up and as you can see, there are a lot of categories already predetermined for me based off of the AI software. So there's the videos, there's screenshots that I don't need, there's notes, there's duplicates, there's similar. So I'm gonna to go to similar real quick. And then I'm gonna to go to August because we're in the month of August. And now I can see some of my golden hour photos. So right here, I already see like, yeah, there's like three repeats of the same photo. I don't really know why I did that, but as you can see, the AI kind of knows like which one is the best and which one isn't. So I'm actually gonna move those three to the trash. Oh, it's kind of like the same deal as like three shorelines with a sunset behind it. So let me move. Oh, there's 14 of these. Yeah, I'll move all 14 of them in there. And let me see the trash. Mm, yeah, I don't need any of this. So I'm going to empty it out. Delete. There we go. 
And that's a quick tutorial on how to use Gemini Photos. Gemini Photos is an iOS app that uses AI software to go into your photo library and it categorizes a lot of the things that you might have in there like screenshots, blurry photos or duplicates, source them all out so that you can delete them just like how it did before. And you can go in, delete what you want, keep what you want and keep that pesky notification of storage is full away so that you can keep on shooting photos without ever have to worry about storage problems. So click the link in the description down below to download Gemini Photos so that you can keep that storage nice and fresh for all your photo shoots. All right, so now I have my Lightroom mobile app pulled up. It's a free iOS app for photo editing, so I highly suggest downloading that. I have 10 photos, but I'm just gonna show you a couple of them that I'm going to be editing. So let's go with the second one first. So I wanna bring that color back by increasing the temperature. Wow, that's a lot more warmer. That's a little bit too much. So let's go to light now. Let's bring down the shadows because it was very contrasty. Let's increase the contrast even more. That's very nice. Oh yeah, we're looking a lot better now. The iPhone camera tends to overexpose a lot of the images to kind of make sure that the shadows look fine, but I kind of like a more crushed shadow look. So we're gonna go to exposure, decrease it by a lot. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks all right. Let me bring the highlights up more, okay. Oh wow, that is looking way different from what it used to. So actually I'm gonna bring that exposure back up. And I'm gonna hit the curve right here, this top right area, curve. And now I'm going to bring the shadows down over here, midpoint over here. Ooh, I like that contrasty look, I'm digging it. Oh yeah, that looks very nice. A little S curve right there, a little bit of an S curve. And that should be good, done show before and after oh yeah that looks really nice let's go to this one i love the silhouette photo of the family combined with the sense in the back i think it looks like a really nice epic shot i think i might actually want to throw this in black and white so let's go to color oh no not that saturation bring that all the way down there we go negative 100 now it's black and white let's increase the contrast like crazy highlights up shadows down whites up blacks down Let's exacerbate this even more in the curves. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Oh, that looks really nice. I love that flat look. Oh yeah, that should be good. Oh yeah, I really love this dramatic effect. And just like that, we had our photo walk during golden hour. Then we culled and got rid of some in Gemini photos. And then we edited some of them to make them look nice and juicy at the end of the day. And that is how I go through my workflow of iPhone photography during golden hour. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe and comment down below. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.